Now, the food of the future is here, and it's being produced in Israel. In 2022, Israeli startups developing alternative proteins like lab-grown meat and milk raised $454 million in capital, making it so that Israel ranks second after the United States in terms of investments in this booming field. Now, last month, the Israeli food tech startup Remilk was even given the green light to produce cow-free milk in Israel. And now the French dairy giant Danone has made a strategic investment into the Israeli startup Imagine Dairy LTD, which could pave the way to a joint collaboration on developing animal-free dairy products using precision fermentation technology. I know you want to know what that means. And luckily, joining us now to discuss is PhD Eyal Afelgan. He's a co-founder and the CEO of Imagine Dairy. So tell us about the products that your company produces and what precision fermenta <laughs> fermentation technology is. Maybe that's, I would start with the explaining what is precision fermentation, and then we'll go back yeah. to uh, what kind of product we produce out of it. Okay. So precision fermentation means that we teach microorganism how to produce a specific protein, in our case, that are identical to the proteins in cow's milk. Okay, the microorganism could be either uh, bacteria, yeast, or fungi. Once we have these proteins, we can now uh, build basically any uh, any uh, type of uh, dairy product for all the range, with the same uh, offering the same experience of traditional dairy product but together with the pure health environmental benefits. Our products are cholesterol free, are lactose free. I don't know if you know, but more than 65% of the world population are lactose intolerant. Yeah. So basically we take all the bad stuff in cow's milk and focus only on the good stuff. But we also enjoy with all the benefits of plant-based. Uh, Product. So, so is a flavor, I mean, th this is essentially lab-grown dairy products, correct? Not exactly. Mm -hmm. um, lab-grown product is uh, more like a, in cultivated meat, or Got they it. are also okay. cultivated uh, milk, not only meat. Mm -hmm. uh, what they are doing with cultivated, they are doing like biopsy, and take the cells. cells and grow the cells. In mm -hmm. our case, we take yeast that you grow can uh, produce beer, for example. Interesting. But what we are doing, we basically download the code from the online database that encoded to the specific protein that we want, and then we insert into specific location within the organism genome, and then these organisms start to produce the protein that we want. All right, so the bottom line is do these products, does this alternative dairy product that you're producing, whether or not it's cheese or milk or yogurt, does it taste the same? Exactly the same, because we have the same uh, product. So, for example, in plant-based, they are trying, uh, uh, all the food technicians are trying to take uh, pea proteins, soy proteins, mm -hmm. and we uh, put some uh, physical force on to, uh, to them in, in order to make them behave like milk proteins. In our case, we have the milk proteins. It's identical. The wow. source is different. But in terms of uh, functionality, in terms of biology, it's exactly the same. Amazing. So Denone is investing in your company. When can we expect your products to hit the market? So our product probably will uh, hit the market toward end of this year, beginning of next year, something around. What will it be? Uh, this is up to our uh, partners. As we are a B2B company, mm -hmm. we offer the protein powder and we're working together with our partners to create different products. So okay. Danone, like companies, mm -hmm. they are the ones that choose which product to launch first, not us. All right, well, we're excited to see what this is. You know, just quickly, there are a lot of viewers who are a bit freaked out about, you know, uh, animal-free dairy products. What do you say to that? So, uh, precision fermentation is out there in the food industry for the last 40 years, okay? Uh, many food enzymes are produced through precision fermentation. Even the enzyme that Renate, that 95% of the dairy industry use today, mm -hmm. it's produced at the same technology. So, instead of producing uh, this unit, we produce milk proteins. 